Off the top this noon, a South Florida home going up in flames as police try to negotiate with an armed man barricaded inside. It started as a SWAT situation. But it would take a tragic turn. 7th Tavares Jones is live in Fort Lauderdale with the story. Tavares. Yeah, Ethan Vanessa, this story just tragic. Two people now dead. This home now destroyed by fire and a community with so many unanswered questions. Gunfire ending with two people dead and a home on fire in Fort Lauderdale. In his reference to shooting, uh, the, the suspect is supposed to be still inside the residence. Police tell 7 News it all unfolded just before 8.30 Thursday night. Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue receiving a call of a reported shooting at a home located here in the 1700 block of Northwest 27 Terrace. The caller telling 911 dispatchers their mother had been shot. I was advised that his mom is lying in a puddle of blood. She's going to have a wound to the head. Uh, upon arrival on scene, the suspect pretty immediately armed himself, barricaded himself inside of the residence, and believe, we believe he set the home on fire. The home then becoming engulfed in flames. All right, so they're saying it's heavy black smoke now coming out. Did you can you advise on a additional response? At some point, the man would make his way out of the burning home, still armed with that gun. He then takes the gun and shoots himself, and he is deceased. Seven Sky Force shows the scene from above. The interior gutted from the fire as crews had to wait for the SWAT situation to end before they could put the blaze out. You want to call this a working fire even though you can't move in? And back inside the home, police would find the victim dead. Longtime City of Fort Lauderdale employee Gwendolyn Bass Kemp. Neighbors tell 7 News she was well known in this neighborhood and Fort Lauderdale. She do nice. She come home, they bother nobody. Just let me come home, go in the house. When you see her again, she got to be gone. But just to come and hang out, no. Everyone now stunned, trying to make sense of this tragedy taking place just steps away from their front door. He was a good person. Both of them. I mean, what the hell got to this point where it ended like this? I can't say. Now back at her live, we've learned more about the victim for the past 18 years. Miss Bass Camp has been a city of Fort Lauderdale fire rescue employee where she worked in the billing department. And now more about the victim. Police have identified the suspect in all of this is 71 year old Richard Kenneth McDonald. And neighbors tell me, although the two were not married, they were in a domestic partnership and lived here at this home for the past 14 years. Meanwhile, fire rescue on scene right now trying to determine the exact cause of this fire. We're live this noon in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Tavares Jones, 7 News.